الاجود قراءه لكتاب الله تعالى you know al al jawad al jawad meaning what لا لا al jawad al jawad al jawad generosity al jud al jawad but here ajwad ajwad shay ha ahsan ta alaha ajwad shay let's say when you say ajwad in this meaning someone that has the higher in that category even though al jawad can mean generosity right generosity like this wa min judika la you remember the hadith the qasid the qasida of the of the of the burda wa min judika wa karamika right from the from your generosity right from your generosity is what this world and the after so he mentioned hafizahullah he say the first one is meaning the first from the criteria for the imama is the one that is ajwad qira'at li kitabillah the one that is more verse in the recitation of the book of allah wa huwa alladhi and this is the one yujayyid qira'at lil qur'an shuf that's the word now you were talking about that's the one that is that he recitation of the quran is stronger he say bi an ya'rif makharij al huruf that he knows where the letters right the pronunci- the pronunciation of the letters how to properly pronounce the letters wala yalhan fiha and he does not make mistakes on them he doesn't make what is called alhan alhan is those mistakes that barakallahu fikum that are changing the meaning of the of the recitation wa yatbiq qawaid al quran aw al qira'a min ghayri takalluf wala tanti' he say that the second or the other third the third one is that he is to be well aware of the rules of recitation bi ma'na what he is to be well aware of the rules of recitation mathalan the rules of tajweed and the likes of this that he knows the uh, the the, the tanween right he knows when i say the tanween meaning the nunu saki nunu sakina he knows the uh, ikhfa he know the huh? the idgham bi idgham bi ghayri gunna idgham bi gunna he knows the qalqala he knows the izhar he knows the ikhfa tayyib he knows this mad he know the mudud he know this barakallah rules of recitation the rules of tajweed as it is commonly called and this is without barakallah fikum any burden he say wa yakunu ma'a dhalika and with that knowledge of the quran <coughs> with the knowledge of the re- of the Qur- recitation of the quran he say ya'rif fiqh as-salatihi and he has also knowledge of the salah the how about the salah not to just memorize the quran with the nice tajweed and the man doesn't know how to rectify the salah if he messed up in the salah how he going to rectify it? or what are those things that if you messed up you how you going to rectify it or if those things that when you leave it off do you come back catch it up or do you wait till after the salah you make it up or at what point of the salah if you miss this thing that you can always bring it back up now these are the things that barakallahu fikum the one leading the salah walhamdulillah he is to be what knowledgeable not knowledgeable on the de- on the surface but knowledgeable in detail knowledgeable in detail not knowledgeable where as you got to go to the books or you got to alhamdulillah not not saying that 
one is not to be going back to the books, but to the point that you, can e you have to even memorize those things. So he mentioned wa yakunu ma'a dhalika and with that meaning with the knowledge of the Quran with the recitation the proper recitation of the Quran knowing the rules of recitation and the like he say he has to also know the fiqh of the salah he has to have fiqh the fiqh of the salah meaning the knowledge detail of the salah knowing for instance what are the shurut of the salah Knowing what are the pillars of the salah. Knowing barakallahu feekum what are the sunan of the salah. These are matters that are incumbent upon the one that lead the salah to have. So yep, we talk talking about leading the salah in regard to, in, in, in any regard, alhamdulillah, where are the imam is, alhamdulillah, to, 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 to be appointed. So yep. And likewise, فيها, and also those matters that are from the necessary matters to know in the salah. He say, kashurutiha, like the conditions of the salah. And alhamdulillah, I believe that at this point all of us know the conditions of the salah bidapt. Arkaniha and the pillars of the salah. It is for no one sitting in this. Wednesday class, not to be knowing the barakallah in the conditions of the salah, nor the pillars of the salah. <coughs> Why? Because alhamdulillah, almost in every time we come to the word of the condition of the salah, we do what? We stop and revise it. We talk about the pillars of the salah, we stop and revise it. So, yep, this is alhamdulillah, and this is for to be memorized once for all. Memorized once for all. Alhamdulillah, if one doesn't feel like he didn't memorize it, or he has a little, any doubts that he's mixing between the shurut and the arkan and the wajibat, maybe we can take a pause. Bi'idhnillahi tabaraka wa ta'ala, make a slight detour and revise those, inshallah ta'ala, and come back to our book. And close it for tonight. Conditions of the salah. Come. The conditions of the salah. Shuru to salah. Huh? Yeah, you say? Khamsawa? Conditions of the Salah, Abba Ibrahim. Tis'a, nine. Nine, right? Nine, right? Nine, condition of the Salah. Number one, Abdullah. Ahsanta, to be Muslim, number two. Before that. One thing before that. This part of, huh? If last and near, this is it. That's the intention. That's the near. That's what he was saying. Alhamdulillah. <coughs> to be sane. Al aql, al aql. So number one is al Islam. If the kafir pray, is this salah good? If the nation of no Islam pray, is this salah good? No, it is not. Number two is al-aql, to be sane, to be mentally sane, mentally sound. Huh? To be mentally sane, to be mentally sane, to be, to have aql, right? If a baby pray, right, is it, is it an obligation upon him? No. no. It is not. If someone that is, barakallah fikum majnoon, Right? Let's say he's off his medication and he's 
went crazy. He's, he's majnoon. Then his salah will not be, it's not an obligation upon him. So the condition is, one of them is what? Al-aql. Number three. At-tamiz, very good. For the kid or the child to reach the age of dis, 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 uh, discernment. To reach the age of tamiz. بِمَعْنَا يُمَيِّزَ بَيْنَ ال بين بين النافع والدار يميز بين النافع والدار to be able to 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 make a distinction between that which is good and something that is harmful to be able to distinguish between that which is harmful and that which is beneficial something that is good and something that is bad if the child reach that age then alhamdulillah he is to be what he is to be teach to pray he is to be teach to pray. If he reach 10 years old, he is to be commanded to pray. Seven. Seven. Right? Is that he is to be taught to pray. 10, he is to be commanded to pray. Huh? <laughs> Get the kache. <laughs> So that was number four. That was three, Akhi. Number four. Idalatun Najas. Removing impurity. Removing impurity. And this is to be done in three places or in three things. Number one is. Huh? From the garment. Huh? From the garment, from the place, and from one's body. From one's body. Izala to najas. Al Izala is removing something. Right? Izala. Yanzilu. Right? Izala to najas. Removing, lifting up the impurity. Whether it is fil Al buqa in a place, awi thawb, awi badan. Whether it is the place, the area where you're going to pray, or the garment that you're going to pray with, or you yourself, your body. And you have two types of removal, or three types of removal of najasa. You got barakallah fiku, what is called? Istinja, istijmar, and what else? Al Ghusl. Ghusl al Right? Istinja, using water to clean oneself, to remove your impurity. Right? And you have Al al Istijmar, to take stones or pebble to barakallah if you can remove one's impurity. So that was number four. Number five is. Before that, now, now you have to, after you remove the impurity, number five is that you bring forth that which enable you to put forth, to establish the worship, which is, alhamdulillah, the tahara itself, the, the, the wudu. Whether it is wudu, whether it is tayammum, whether it is al ghusl janaba right? Whether it is ghusl janaba Right? Whether it is al wudu, whether it is at tayammum, meaning the dry, using the dry sand, right, to 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 wipe on one's face and and and, and arms, طيب. And the third one is alhamdulillah, if a person is sexually defiled, or a woman that finishes fin that finished, alhamdulillah, her menstrual cycle or her postpartum bleeding. Number six from the conditions of the salah, they are ahsanta. Covering one's awra, satratul awra, satratul awra, removing, I mean, uh, 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 covering one's awra, covering one's awra, naam. He's, 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 this is his salah that is invalid. It's just like if the imam. Praise. He doesn't have wudu. 